So one of the things that you may find yourself doing or being involved with or potentially being involved with is uh, application management. So here we're going to go ahead and talk about different ways to work with applications. We're going to see a number of different things. First, we'll talk about how you can search for funding opportunities within the EasyFed grant system. That's probably going to be the first step towards uh, creating and submitting an application. From there, we'll see how you can actually then create and submit applications. And then we'll talk about application review and approval. And what that's going to speak to is once the application has been created and submitted, it's going to be submitted internally where it will then be uh, reviewed by someone at your organization and ultimately approved. And once it gets that final approval, it will then be sent over, it will be available, I guess, uh, for your participating uh, USDA agency to then review and make a determination on. So we're going to kind of take a look at these steps in the process as we attempt to work with applications. The purpose of the training is just to give you a sense for what, what the process is like. Uh, again, we'll be taking a look at some screenshots so it'll kind of give us a, an idea of how to navigate around the system and what steps we need to take in the process. So here we'll begin by discussing how you can search for funding opportunities. One thing I do want to point out or just kind of mention briefly before we um, go any further is that as with, I guess, all of the topics today, please keep in mind that not all uh, agencies that you may work with uh, are going to utilize the same pieces of functionality that the EasyFed Grants uh, system can offer. For example, uh, if you're working with the National Institute of Food and Agriculture, with NIFA, for example, uh, you may find that they are going to ask you to go to grants.gov to submit all of your applications, at which point you wouldn't need to go into EasyFed Grant Great and submit an application. Uh, if you have been utilizing grants.gov in the past to submit applications, uh, your participating or, or your um, USDA agency that you're working with may ask you to change over and to submit all those applications through EasyFed Grants, or they may tell you that you can still continue uh, to go through grants.gov for that. It's really going to depend on the agency uh, and what sorts of functionality that they use with the EasyFed Grants portal. So if you have any questions about whether or not creating and submitting applications through EasyFed Grants is right for you, please contact your agency representative. They should be able to uh, give you the answer. Uh, but just keep that in mind as well that not all agencies are going to require you to submit your applications for EasyFed Grants. But if you are working with an organization that, uh, that does require you to do that, or where it's a possibility, then these are the steps that you would take. And the very first step that you would take is you would need to search for a funding opportunity to apply to. You cannot, for example, just submit a random application to nothing. Uh, you have to have a particular funding opportunity in mind uh, that you would then submit an application to. So after completing this particular module, this first module, you should be able to, at the very least, describe how to search for a funding opportunity in EasyFed Grants, and then also, of course, explain just in general terms for perhaps the functionality, goals, and benefits of EasyFed Grants as well. So we saw previously how uh, once you get access to the system, or once you get that level 2 e-authentication access, you can go to the NFC website where you can click on the button to launch the EasyFed Grants application, and how once you do that, it should take you to the EasyFed Grants homepage, and it should look something like this. First step to searching for a funding opportunity is going to be, by, is going to, be to access the EasyFed Grants home screen. Once you do that, uh, on the left-hand side, you should get an option that says My Applications. Uh, so you can then go ahead and select My Applications, and then from the drop-down that opens up, you want to choose the Create Application option. From there, as we stated, you are going to need to search for uh, a funding opportunity. So here, 
you're going to get a search opportunities window that comes up where you'll note that there's going to be a search, I guess a variety of search criteria fields that are available to you, and you just want to enter in any search criteria into the appropriate field. Keep in mind the system will allow for the use of wildcards, so for example an asterisk uh, or a star to help make the searching easier. So for example, let's say that the piece of criteria that you're going to be searching by is going to be the CFDA number, but you only know the first few digits of that number. Uh, you can type those in and then hit a star, and then when you click search, it's going to bring up results for all, um, I guess, opportunities that begin with the CFDA number that you typed in. Um, but you'll note that you do get a number of different pieces of available search criteria available to you. So if you would prefer to search by the Federal Award Agency contact, you can do that. Uh, the funding opportunity number or title are also search uh, criteria options as well as the application available, availability end date if you happen to know that. The point being that you just want to go ahead and enter in the appropriate criteria and after you enter in that criteria in the lower left hand corner, you just want to click the search button ahead and perform the actual search. Once you do that, your search results will appear below. Uh, you can, as the slide states, filter or, or sort your search results by selecting the arrow on the column headers, and that should open up a drop-down menu allowing you to filter or sort. But you should get all your search, search results listed. Now, please keep in mind, uh, as we stated earlier today, that all data that we're looking at is really just test data used for the purposes of training, and the actual data that you encounter in the system uh, may vary depending on agency and scenario. So for example, you may not see funding opportunity title bananas. Uh, it may have an actual name. This, of course, is all test data. I just want to point that out as well. The idea being, though, that once you search, you should get a list of search results of all the different funding opportunities that are available to create an application by or for. And that's essentially the EasyFed Grants Opportunity Search Process.